The Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court, often referred to as the International Criminal Court Statute or the Rome Statute, is the treaty that established the International Criminal Court (ICC). It was adopted at a diplomatic conference in Rome on the 17th of July 1998 and it entered into force on the 1st of July 2002. As of October 2017, 123 states are party to the statute. Among other things, the statute establishes the court's functions, jurisdiction and structure. The Rome Statute established four core international crimes, genocide, crimes against humanity, war crimes, and the crime of aggression. Those crimes, "...shall not be subject to any statute of limitations." Under the Rome Statute, the ICC can only investigate and prosecute the four core international crimes in situations where states are unable or unwilling to do so themselves. The jurisdiction of the court is complementary to jurisdictions of domestic courts. The court has jurisdiction over crimes only if they are committed in the territory of a state party or if they are committed by a national of a state party. An exception to this rule is that the ICC may also have jurisdiction over crimes if its jurisdiction is authorized by the United Nations Security Council. Topic: History The Rome Statute established four core international crimes, genocide, crimes against humanity, war crimes, and crime of aggression. Following years of negotiation, aimed at establishing a permanent international tribunal to prosecute individuals accused of genocide and other serious international crimes, such as crimes against humanity, war crimes and crimes of aggression, the United Nations General Assembly convened a five-week diplomatic conference in Rome in June 1998 to finalize and adopt a convention on the establishment of an international criminal court." On 17 July 1998, the Rome Statute was adopted by a vote of 120 to 7, with 21 countries abstaining. Because the way each delegation voted was officially unrecorded, there is some dispute over the identity of the seven countries that voted against the treaty. It is certain that the People's Republic of China, Israel, and the United States were three of the seven because they have publicly confirmed their negative votes, India, Indonesia, Iraq, Libya, Qatar, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, and Yemen have been identified by various observers and commentators as possible sources for the other four negative votes, with Iraq, Libya, Qatar, and Yemen being the four most commonly identified. Israel's vote against was publicly declared as being due to the inclusion in the list of a war crimes of the action of transferring population into occupied territory. On the 11th of April 2002, 10 countries ratified the statute at the same time at a special ceremony held at the United Nations headquarters in New York City, bringing the total number of signatories to 60, which was the minimum number required to bring the statute into force as defined in Article 126. The treaty entered into force on the 1st of July 2002. The ICC can only prosecute crimes committed on or after that date. The statute was modified in 2010 after the review conference in Kampala, Uganda, but the amendments to the statute that were adopted at that time are not effective yet. The Rome Statute is the result of multiple attempts for the creation of a supranational and international tribunal. At the end of the 19th century, the international community took the first steps towards the institution of permanent courts with supranational jurisdiction. With the Hague International Peace Conferences, representatives of the most powerful nations made an attempt to harmonize laws of war and to limit the use of technologically advanced weapons. After World War I and even more after the heinous crimes committed during World War II, it became a priority to prosecute individuals responsible for crimes so serious that needed to be called against humanity. In order to reaffirm basic principles of democratic civilization, the alleged criminals were not executed in public squares or sent to torture camps, but instead treated as criminals, with a regular trial, the right to defense and the presumption of innocence. The Nuremberg trials marked a crucial moment in legal history, and after that, some treaties that led to the drafting of the Rome Statute were signed. UN General Assembly Resolution N. 260 the 9th of December 1948, the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide, was the first step towards the establishment of an international permanent criminal tribunal with jurisdiction on crimes yet to be defined in international treaties. In the resolution there was a hope for an effort from the legal UN Commission in that direction. 
The General Assembly, after the considerations expressed from the Commission, established a committee to draft a statute and study the related legal issues. In 1951 a first draft was presented, a second followed in 1955 but there were a number of delays, officially due to the difficulties in the definition of the crime of aggression, that were only solved with diplomatic assemblies in the years following the statutes coming into force. The geopolitical tensions of the Cold War also contributed to the delays. Trinidad and Tobago asked the General Assembly in December 1989 to reopen the talks for the establishment of an international criminal court and in 1994 presented a draft statute. The General Assembly created an ad hoc committee for the International Criminal Court and, after hearing the conclusions, a preparatory committee that worked for two years on the draft. Meanwhile, the United Nations created the ad hoc tribunals for the former Yugoslavia ICTY and for Rwanda ICTR using statutes and amendments due to issues raised during pre-trial or trial stages of the proceedings that are quite similar to the Rome Statute. During its 52nd session the UN General Assembly decided to convene a diplomatic conference for the establishment of the International Criminal Court, held in Rome 15 June to 17 July 1998 to define the treaty, entered into force on 1 July 2002. This Rome conference was attended by representatives from 161 member states, along with observers from various other organizations, intergovernmental organizations and agencies, and non-governmental organizations including many human rights groups and was held at the headquarters of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, located about 4 kilometers away from the Vatican one of the states represented. Jurisdiction and structure The Rome Statute outlines the ICC's structure and areas of jurisdiction. The ICC can prosecute individuals but not states or organizations for four kinds of crimes, genocide, crimes against humanity, war crimes, and the crime of aggression. These crimes are detailed in Articles 6, 7, 8, and 8 bis of the Rome Statute, respectively. They must have been committed after 1 July 2002, when the Rome Statute came into effect. The ICC has jurisdiction over these crimes in three cases, first, if they took place on the territory of a state party, second, if they were committed by a national of a state party, or third, if the crimes were referred to the prosecutor by the UN Security Council. The ICC may begin an investigation before issuing a warrant if the crimes were referred by the UN Security Council or if a state party requests an investigation. Otherwise, the prosecutor must seek authorization from a pre-trial chamber of three judges to begin an investigation proprio motu on its own initiative. The only type of immunity the ICC recognizes is that it cannot prosecute those under 18 when the crime was committed. In particular, no officials, not even a head of state, are immune from prosecution. The Rome Statute established three bodies, the ICC itself, the Assembly of States Parties ASP, and the Trust Fund for Victims. The ASP has two subsidiary bodies. These are the Permanent Secretariat, established in 2003, and an elected bureau which includes a president and vice president. The ICC itself has four organs, the presidency with mostly administrative responsibilities, the divisions the pre-trial, trial, and appeals judges, the office of the prosecutor, and the registry whose role is to support the other three organs. The functions of these organs are detailed in Part 4 of the Rome Statute. Ratification status As of October 2017, 123 states are parties to the Statute of the Court, including all the countries of South America, nearly all of Europe, most of Oceania and roughly half of Africa. Burundi was a member state, but withdrew effective 27 October 2017. A further 31 countries have signed but not ratified the Rome Statute. The law of treaties obliges these states to refrain from acts which would defeat the object and purpose of the treaty until they declare they do not intend to become a party to the treaty. Four signatory states—Israel, Sudan, the United States and Russia— 
have informed the UN Secretary General that they no longer intend to become states' parties and, as such, have no legal obligations arising from their signature of the Statute. 41 United Nations member states have neither signed nor acceded to the Rome Statute. Some of them, including China and India, are critical of the court. Ukraine, a non ratifying signatory, has accepted the court's jurisdiction for a period starting in 2013. Review and amendment Any amendment to the Rome Statute requires the support of a two-thirds majority of the state's parties, and an amendment except those amending the list of crimes will not enter into force until it has been ratified by seven-eighths of the state's parties. A state party which has not ratified such an amendment may withdraw with immediate effect. Any amendment to the list of crimes within the jurisdiction of the court will only apply to those states' parties that have ratified it. It does not need a seven eighths majority of ratifications. The states' parties held a review conference in Kampala, Uganda from 31 May to the 11th of June 2010. The review conference adopted a definition of the crime of aggression, thereby allowing the ICC to exercise jurisdiction over the crime for the first time. It also adopted an expansion of the list of war crimes. See also International Criminal Court Act 2001 Volkerstrafgesetzbuch Topic. Notes and references Topic Further reading Roy S. Lee ed., The International Criminal Court, The Making of the Rome Statute. The Hague, Kluwer Law International 1999. ISBN 90-411-1212-X. Roy S. Lee and Hawken Fryman eds., The International Criminal Court, Elements of Crimes and Rules of Procedure and Evidence. Ardsley, N.Y., Transnational Publishers 2001. ISBN 1-57105-209-7. William A. Shabas, Flavia Latanzi eds, Essays on the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court Vol. 1 Fagnano Alto, Il Serrant ISBN 88-87847-00-2 Claus Kress, Flavia Latanzi eds, The Rome Statute and Domestic Legal Orders Vol. 1 Fagnano Alto, Il Serrant 2000. ISBN 88-87847-01-0 Antonio Cassese, Paola Guida and John R. W. D. Jones eds, The Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court, A Commentary. Oxford, Oxford University Press 2002. ISBN 978-0-19-829862-5. William A. Shabas, Flavia Latanzi eds, Essays on the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court Vol. 2. Fagnano Alto, Il Serrant 2004. ISBN 88-87847-02-9 William A. Shabas, An Introduction to the International Criminal Court 2nd ed. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press 2004. ISBN 0-521-01149-3. Claus Kress, Flavia Latanzi eds, The Rome Statute and Domestic Legal Orders Vol. 2. Fagnano Alto, Il Serrant 2005. ISBN 978-88-87847-03-1. Topic external links Text of the Statute Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court, United Nations Website Official Website of the Rome Conference, Speeches, Press Releases, Photos and Other Materials from the Conference that Adopted the Statute International Criminal Court Website A List of the State Parties to the Rome Statute at the Wayback Machine Archived 16 June 2011 Text of the Rome Statute as Amended in 2010 and 2015 Human Rights and International Criminal Law Online Forum Parliamentary Network Mobilized in Support of the Universality of the Rome Statute Draft Statute of an International Criminal Court, 1994